this video, I will cover how to do individual discussion boards, which function a little bit more like journals in Notebook. First, we're going to start at the Assignments tab. Choose Add and Assignment. Fill out the general part at the top here as you would any other assignment in Notebook. After you complete the general information at the top, go ahead and choose Discussion Board as the submission type. And under this individual or group, we're actually going to choose private here. And this is where students will see only their own posts and then the professor will also see them. So this is more of that journal style. You can choose to allow late submissions, editing and deleting down there. And you can do a required minimum number of posts. For this, I'm going to post, I'm going to make it a requirement of three with a 50 recommended word count for each. Comments here, you can require comments, but then they're commenting on their own posts. So maybe if you have a longer journal throughout the semester, you might want to require comments and tell them at the end of the semester to comment on earlier posts, something along those lines, you could always do that. You can hit create here. And this, as you can see, looks very similar to any of the other discussion boards. One of the big differences are that you can choose here which student's discussion board or journal you want to post to. I'm going to cut and let the students submit and be right back. All right, now that I snap my fingers and have some posts from students, let's take a look at what the discussion board for personal uh, looks like. So here, in the discussion board area, one of the first things you'll notice is that you do see everyone's right away. So to filter, you can choose the filter option and pick a particular student and just look at theirs. You can also comment on that student's discussion board by putting a post or by making individual comments. Now, this is not the feedback area where we do the grading normally, but since these are personal discussion boards, no one else is going to see any comments in this area. Only that particular student will see them. Keep in mind that if you do the post up at the top, you'll want to make sure you have the right student selected. Because here, if I select Trent, that means I'm just viewing posts by Trent and on his discussion board. But up here at the top, you can see where I'm posting. You will want to make sure to change that to Trent if you are posting just to Trent's discussion board. The submissions area looks very similar to the individual discussion boards, which are those class ones that I covered two videos ago. And you can go ahead in the submissions area and choose the magnifying glass to preview the submissions. And you can toggle between the posts there. Now, I'll also notice that the word count was not reached. I put a 50 word count requirement, so he did not reach that. But I can flip through here and take a look at all of the posts right in here and see where my students are at. Also, keep in mind that if you're wondering what students see, you can always go to that More tab and do a View As. And you can see how your students are seeing it. You can even pick a particular student. So I'm picking Cheryl here. I can see exactly what Cheryl is seeing. She has not posted anything yet. And that's it for the personal discussion boards. Next, we're going to move on to tests and quizzes.